welcome and, and thank you for coming to open our new medical examiner facility, which of course we're extremely proud of in Spokane County. And when I say this isn't really a new medical examiner facility, it's our first medical examiner facility. Many of you might be aware that for the last 21 years since the medical examiner's office was converted from a coroner system in 1999, we worked in two rented facilities that were uh, one eighth mile apart. And for all of those 21 years, we did a lot of making do. And obviously that ends with this facility. We won't be making do anymore. I always tell people that I've actually really never worked in a very nice medical examiner facility, which is true. I've worked in basements I, and I worked in a converted crematorium in California that was as dingy as can be. So this will be such a pleasure to be working here. The old autopsy facility was designed for two people and we have 14 staff members. During the last 21 years, we've managed to make do, put things together with pieces of tape, rubber bands and string sometimes, but we were able to get accredited through four accreditation cycles through the National Association of Medical Examiners, which seemed like, which seemed like a big undertaking given our working conditions. Spokane, many of you might know, is a regional medical examiner facility. We work and do referral autopsies for 14 surrounding counties. And in our future, that's going to become much more important. This is a 30 plus year facility that's been designed and built for us by Spokane County. And as the shortage of forensic pathologists becomes more critical in the United States, it's allowed us to begin recruiting for a new generation. And it allows us to meet the model that the federal government is now presenting where we're going to have to regionalize autopsy services and death investigation systems just because of a shortage of trained forensic pathologists. I want to thank all of the Spokane County commissioners, but especially to Al French because as he mentioned, for 10 years, we've been talking about this facility, but he is really the champion who got the facility built. And we're greatly appreciative of his support. And also Bernardo Wills Architects, they designed this facility. They made it beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, it is practical and functional and still beautiful. And again, it's a 30 year facility. Also would like to thank Kilgore Construction for building this facility, being on time, understanding our needs, and of course, adapting to probably what is one of their most unique building projects. I'm speculating about that, but adapting and figuring out what needed to be figured out for us. But thank you, thank you all for this day. It's been a difficult year for the medical examiner's office because of our caseload because of our community health emphasis in assisting with COVID-19 and our concerns about our old facility and managing COVID-19, but today is, is sort of a new vision for us. So thank you so much for being here for this day. A relationship that's been created here uh, will serve this community for decades to come. So thank you to our partners with uh, Washington State University and also the University of Washington, the medical schools, also our hospitals to be able to support this facility. And so uh, with that, I'm going to invite some dignitaries up to uh, cut the ribbon and let's get, uh, get inside and show you what a great facility this is. So I'm going to enjoy, invite uh, Commissioner Josh Kearns, uh, Dr. Sally Aiken, Dr. Howard, uh, Dr. Ken Roberts, and also Lawrence Gilbert, you can come forward. All right, one, two, three. 